This is Neve, and this is Laura. They just got married nine months after they had their baby Cleo. Oops. Honestly, they have no idea what they're doing. But whatever, they're in love. And, and we're, we're here, here to help. I remember how horrible first dates can be, especially when you meet someone online and they're not who they say they are. Really? People still lie on the internet? I mean, no wonder there are so many strategies to get out of bad first dates. I mean, we've tried them all, like ghosting. We flew from Texas to Atlanta, no, uh, Wyoming, because there was this guy who was talking to this girl, and it turned out the girl actually was the guy's sister or aunt or something, I don't remember. But if you think that's crazy, wait till you hear about, like, all these other episodes of Catfish. <laughs> or doing something really obnoxious so that the person finally gets the message, you don't want to see them anymore. <sighs> what the f Okay, so you had a bad date. What do you do? I think the first thing is you assess how bad the date really was. Are you really feeling like it's the worst thing ever? Is this person really someone you should never talk to again? Or are you just judging them a little too quickly? Hello. Is this Caroline? I went out with this guy recently and it was fine. Like, I didn't fall in love with him or anything and I didn't hate him. It was just kind of whatever. And he's been blowing up my phone asking me for another date. And I tried telling him I was busy, but he's like, oh, you know, I'll work with your schedule and trying to be accommodating. So how do I tell him that I don't want another date? Block his number. No. Block his number, <laughs> block his social media. He doesn't exist. Well, so wait, so you're 100% not interested in him, right? I think so. You yeah, think so? Yeah, I think it's a no-go. You think so? I mean, I don't know. When I think yeah. about Neve and I's first date, I thought he was like a little bit weird. I mean. He cut me off a lot at dinner. I wasn't sure. And so like I, I gave him the second chance and, and now we're happier than ever. Well, we have Crystal that's written in. Let's see. I went out with a guy that I really liked. And when I was coming back from the bathroom, I saw him hitting on another girl at the bar. Oh. Mm. But now he won't stop calling and texting me saying he's sorry. Mm. And I should forgive him because it's not like we're in a serious relationship right now anyways. We're not serious anyway. Who cares? Chill. He's a player. He's a city boy. He's, he's a yeah, city boy. That's what I'm saying. He's a city boy. Sounds like a boy. New York City boy. Yeah. I know them. Just because a guy acts, you know, like that doesn't necessarily mean he can't focus his attention and be unbelievably faithful and, and loving and committed. That said, if you don't think he's ready to be dating just you and not flirting with and hitting on and picking up other women right now and you can't handle that, right. then I don't think it's Then you gotta work. get out. Yeah, you gotta get out. You gotta get out of there. Or let him flirt with girls and bring one home with you. Right. I mean, let, go for it. Yes, hi, who's this? This is Don. Hey, handsome. So I met this girl on Tinder a while back and I went on a date with her a couple weeks ago and it went cool, she's, she's really cool. We've been talking a lot since the date. Uh, right after the date, though, she started joking around about, like, oh, we're gonna get married, or we're gonna take a trip together, and that's just freaking me out a little bit. Don, I mean, with this voice alone, I want to marry you. Is it too soon? Are you are you into her? Uh, yeah, absolutely. I just don't know if I'm that serious yet, you know? I mean, it's right. still yeah. one day, it's one day. a couple weeks. Be like, the marriage jokes are weirding me out. Let's stop doing that. Like, via text? You should text her? Like the next time she makes a marriage joke, be like, hey. Be like, hey, haha, -ha, just kidding, not funny. Please stop. Never mind, I'll never see you again. Why don't you just start dropping jokes about like having orgies and doing heavy drugs and like see how she reacts? I think you should just hang out with her again and feel it out. So, I mean, because if she is just yeah. joking, like whatever, you'll, you'll get a better, the more you see her, you'll get a better sense of how marriage obsessed she really is. Yeah, but I mean, listen to me, Don. Don. Don, Don. Don, 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 Don. Don, 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 Don,